ladies and gentlemen. You're watching News X. I am Rishabh Gulati. You know, I've been doing this for just about long enough to understand why politics and a democracy and an election is such a fascinating beast. You know, when I began my career, okay, and I was a very young journalist in the early 2000s, uh, seems very recently, but it was 20 years ago. Uh, and, you know, it was whether UPA is going to come back to power and not come back to power and no, no, it'll be a hung parliament. And, you know, gosh, the only thing I learned is nobody really knows. Uh, nobody can predict it. There is a wisdom of the crowd that even though that's a statistically important phenomenon, it is quintessentially impossible to predict. And certainly not with the opinion polls and exit polls uh, that honestly all of us will show you, claiming to predict things. It's not a prediction, it's an educated guess. And if you get it right, we will tell you we got it right. And if we don't get it right, shh, it never happened, okay? So it is fascinating. The reason it is fascinating is because we get to observe and for all of you, get to participate in what is literally life-changing. These are people with their careers on their line because they choose the career of politics. So what they do, don't do, the machinations, how we get sometimes inspired, sometimes duped, I don't know, okay? It is interesting. Now, the Sunday Guardian, which is our sister newspaper, has published a story this morning. And it's an interesting one. Because it's an interesting contest. Uttar Pradesh, largest in terms of population in India, the largest in number of looks of our seats in India, and a fascinating electoral battle from where the Congress has well nigh disappeared. It would have been inconceivable. Remember, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru nurtured as a constituency, as a mayoral constituency, the city of Allahabad, uh, now Prayagraj. It is inconceivable, but it has happened in our lifetime. That the Congress is no longer a force to be reckoned with in UP. It, it was first eaten up uh, by the Mayavatis and the Akhileshes uh, and uh, the RLDs of the world. And subsequently, uh, it has been eaten up in UP by the BJP. So where do the things stand in the bastion constituencies of Meti and Raibareli? Now, the story, quoting sources in the Sunday Guardian, says that its principal and some would argue senior ally in UP which is the Samajwadi party of, the Akhile, of Akhilesh Yadav, would like to see both a Priyanka Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi contesting from these two seats. You very recently heard a very boastful remark from a Robert Vadra saying that he would perhaps be contesting from one of these two bastion seats. You've seen a different twist in the tale happen in the other bastion seat of the Gandhis, which is Pilabit, where a Jitin Prasada has been sent to replace Varun Gandhi, although his mother will still be uh, con contesting from the neighboring Sultanpur. So let me understand what's going on. Pankaj Vora is joining us, uh, uh, the editor of the Sunday Guardian. Pankaj ji, uh, what, what is the picture that you are understanding from what is transpiring regarding the Gandhis contesting from UP? Well, it is extremely important that the Gandhis should contest from UP because if they don't, you know, it'll send a message down the line that, you know, they have run away from a contest and uh, they are, you know, shying away from uh, facing Mr. Modi and the BJP. Therefore, you know, Congress chances in North India, especially in the indo gangetic plain, will diminish, gradually, you know, to a large degree. So it is very, very important that Congress should immediately announce whoever is to contest from Rai Bareilly and Abeti, which are the two Gandhi bastions and which have, other than the family, been contested only by Sat Captain Sati Sharma in the last 55 years. So if the Gandhis don't contest, it will send a message which is not good for the party and uh, for its future. Okay, but so that, but again, Pankaji, you know this better than I do, that there is a, 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 a division in the ranks on the logic of this. There are certain segments who would say that we have limited efforts, time and resources. It is better spent where we are more likely to be successful rather than being spent where we are probably not going to do very well anyway. It's a difficult onion. Uh, do you think that the camp that is suggesting that better to focus on the South and other places is winning right now? I don't know. I, you know, the problem with the Congress right now is no one knows who is, uh, you know, devising the strategy. 
people who are in charge of strategy are people who don't have much experience and who know nothing about a lot of things and know nothing about especially north india rai bareilly and amethi you know have been congress gandhi bastions and you know they should announce candidates here whether it is rahul or priyanka or at least one of them should get test from here the other seat in congress there is a thinking that to bridge the north south divide the rai bareilly seat should be given to uh, malik arjun kharge because he is a dalit base also mayawati is not very active in this, these elections so it will you know energize the cadres it will you know put change the narrative the bjp will be on the defensive and it it will think twice before attacking mr kharge so all these things are there so i don't know who is devising the strategy but it is important for the congress to be very much you know contesting uh, uh, rai bareilly and uh, amethi okay. and uh, akhilesh yadav may have said that he wants both the gandhis to contest and nobody else well that is his opinion it is for the congress to decide who of course, they will put of, co there. of course but of course we are 10 days away from the first phase of the election starting off or 12 days away uh, mm -hmm. and we don't have a decision yet which is unusual you'd think this was the first thing that would be decided which seems to indicate uh, that there is uh, some sort of either confusion or lack of clarity on what the best course of action would be Let's open this up. Uh, Ashutosh Sharma joining us on the broadcast, as is Rishi Bagri, uh, Sayyid Asad Abbas on the broadcast is uh, with us as well. Let me ask Rishi ji. Uh, Rishi ji, surely for the ruling party, they would be very happy to take on the Gandhis because they are convinced that that's the Achilles heel of the Congress. But as you've just heard Pankaj Bora saying, if it's Malikarjun Kharge or somebody else, it becomes a little bit more complex. I uh, you, you need to understand. You, there is a very specific contrast which is happening in the two opposite camps. I mean, in opposition camp, uh, what we can see as an outsider that Sonia Gandhi is not fighting election. She has taken, she has gone into Rajya Sabha. Priyanka is not fighting election. Rahul Gandhi has completely ad abandoned Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh used to give the maximum numbers of seats during the Indira Gandhi. Even in even in in 2000 till 2009, they used to get at least 20 seats from Uttar Pradesh. So Uttar Pradesh is completely blank for them because they are uh, the top leadership abandoned. Now Kharge is not fighting. Akhilesh won't fight. Uh, he he will remain to be a MLA or MLC. Udav is again not fighting. So many top leadership in the opposition camp is not fighting. Now you contrast it with this thing. Modi is fighting. Amit Shah is fighting. Many Rajya Sabha members of the BJP are fighting Lok Sabha. So the 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 message is very clear that boss, we are going, we are taking each and every fight very seriously, and we will field all of our senior people in the Lok Sabha. And this is exactly what is happening. And this is the reason why. Uh, the the Congress looks very weak. You need to also understand in 2000 in 2009 election, both Raj, uh, Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi won Amethi and Rai Bareilly by three and a three and a half lakh votes. I mean, now both are actually abandoned them. So, no, but something no, so, 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 so something has gone wrong. You you then it then of course. Uh, uh, Smriti Rani cut that vote victory margin to uh, just a few thousand votes, and of course, then overtook uh, and won the election. So something has clearly gone wrong. Now there's nobody can come and say yes. nothing, nothing has gone wrong for the Congress in the past ten years. Many things have gone wrong, but the question then is, what has? Ashutosh Sharma ji, how are we sitting 12 days away from an election without any clarity on who the contesters for the Congress will be from Amethi and Rai Bareilly, and are we seriously comprehending? A Robert Vadra to be contesting from a Gandhi Bastion seat? I mean, doesn't that sound odd? It sounds very odd. Abandoning the Uttar Pradesh, the largest state of India, which has 80 Lok Sabha seats, and none of the Gandhis contesting, which used to be their bastions in the past, and they've been winning the election, barring the last one, which was won by Smriti Irani. It looks very strange. Akhilesh is not contesting on the SP. Congress is not contesting these two prestigious seats which uh, they have been winning in the last so many years. So going to the south and not contesting, it uh, sounds uh, the lack of confidence in the Congress party, the leadership. 
they have not decided just 12 days like you said just 12 days have left and the candidate is not being announced what does it show i mean uh, the leadership they should have been working as per the plan like the bjp is doing in the past they have started right from the election the first is, uh, the election is won and they start planning for the next 5 years so something is wrong i find in the uh, leadership of the congress party they should not abandon they should contest they should but, but surely back. ashutosh ji there is a reason of practicality that can be argued that look if we have done our assessment we don't expect to do well in up this is where the bjp is strong and yes it is the modi era in, in in indian politics right now so we are up against it so let's focus well, our energy on where we can do better giving me up doesn't make any sense they should have contested they should give a fight they should see the, they should assess if you are giving up in uttar pradesh then you will start uh, giving up in other state also what does that mean i mean do you, do you want to contest or you don't want to contest i want that okay i, I don't i don't understand i don't understand because i i, 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 I don't i don't work with the congress party so let's try to understand it okay I, i don't i don't work for the congress either yes. i said they should stay in the fray they should contest and they can assess and then for the next time they can do better there is no But doubt yes. that it would be very unusual and therefore a talking point for us that here we are a week before a, a major general election and we do yes. not have clarity of the congress party contesting for yeah. rivalry in a meeting let alone yes, have yes. robert wadra i don't know whether under instruction approval or on his own accord suggesting that he might be contested i don't know i can just state the facts these are the facts are just stay with me sir let me get let me let me get uh, 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 mr abbas into this conversation mr abbas it is odd we are just days away we are not months away we are just days away and it can't be a confusion on who should contest so it almost is a capitulation well rishab sahab i certainly agree with you on this front i think with great power comes great responsibility and equal accountability the congress is indeed accountable you know for several years uh this has been a bastion for them it's been they've been riding on the way of success even the last time rai bareilly was won by sonia gandhi ji and now to leave the seat we can not yet announce a candidature truly brings out the questions not just that i truly believe if rahul gandhi is seen to be a good able leader he must contest the fight he should come back fight you know rise from the ashes like a phoenix and give a befitting reply to smriti irani not the constituency which gave you consecutive wins which sent you to the parliament and you are not even contesting from that it's absolutely right it's easy to fight from a wayanad which is a easy winning seat but i'd rather wish a rahul gandhi comes to amethi and fights for it okay so i'll not put the same the same contrarian point of view okay because i know i know this is what's happening right this is the contrarian point of view the contrarian point of view is saying number 1 right now it is the modi era in indian politics Modi benefits from a head-to-head -head fight between him and Rahul. It is no, useful for us to from, yeah. Uh, it, it is uh, useful. Uh, yeah, but let's face it. A uh, Modi factor does apply. But so I'm just giving you contrary logic. Yeah, no, then you no, then you no, respond. Sir. Okay. It's not. So so it is reasonable for people within the Congress to argue that every time we put Rahul Gandhi front and center, that actually hurts our prospects. It is better for us to think of a party uh, rather than the Gandhis. it is reasonable to argue that maybe we need to focus our energy and resources in places where we can have closer contests because we are convinced we can't win here is that not reasonable i, I actually disagree with that because uh, modi is, ji is of course contesting from varanasi this is not head to head with modi yeah, of course you are right about you know certain uh, uh, good amount of uh, votes might come because of the modi factor to a smriti irani contesting from there but even then uh rahul gandhi might have lost that by not a very large margin of lakhs of votes it was less than that so you know it's like giving up even before you're contesting rahul gandhi should certainly come back to fight the election because even if anybody even if people of wayanad want to vote for him they would want for a fighting leader not a leader who gives up the seat so therefore to me as an indian voter i'd rather see a leader if you claim to be or your party claims to be that you will be the next prime minister we want a prime minister who's fighting there not letting go of a seat which is given you these people trusted and voted rahul gandhi and sent up to the parliament okay. now if you're going to so, back out without even a fight would a leader so, with that so so either it is capitulation or it's a species of genius we can only find out of course on the fourth uh, and so let me get let me get dr shastri into this dr shastri and i have been having this conversation since the last general election dr shastri what do you make of this rather very ironic and it is an ironic and strange and if you are in the congress very bizarre situation 
that the two seats which are the first and most easy to announce candidates for are the ones that are currently do not have a Congress candidate? So there are two elements. One is political party, another is people. And the first one, uh, people are connected with trust and confidence. Political parties are connected with leadership and deliverance. In the, in the sense of leadership and deliverance, people doesn't have a confidence on Congress. That is visible by, it is not, let me, let it be. Because if anybody in the Rahul Gandhi's place, he will never go to Vainar. Even though he defeat 10 times, even he get defeated at least maybe seven times, eight times, nine times, but he will keep on continue working over there. Because he need to win the confidence of the people. The politics means confidence. Politics means leadership. Politic leadership means sacrifice. A leadership is related to sacrifice. What is he what is he addressing? The major principal narration of strategy, what he did is he shifted to why not? If you ask him, why don't you come back to the Amit, he will say, Why should I afford here? Why should I do that? Am I very comfortable in my art? And why I need to work there? And they don't, they don't understand this, the entire geometry and you know, political background. No, but Dr. Shastri, how can the uh, oldest party in India be excused by saying that they don't understand politics? Obviously, no, they do understand politics. And let me honest with you. Let me honest with you. You see, the era of Pranam Mukherjee, P. V. Narasimharao, the Sarpa, this entire political spectrum, that uh, movement, the Jamgarthi, the Congress, the Jamgarthi, the political think tank, oh, hey, nee. oh, hey, nee. it's not there. Political okay. connectivity, the power of speech, one minute, let it be only one second. Power of speech and communication. Why Modi is successful? Because of two things speech and communication. It's not the leadership no. or delivery. No, but he like to think he done some work also in 10 years and not just his good speech making abilities. No, no, but it is not the ability. He is not, see, you look, today we are discussing this. At a democracy level, we are discussing this. A party, some very senior leadership. Yesterday he was there in Telangana. Yesterday he was there in Telangana. He was the, nobody was referring about the Malika Karga. Rahul Gandhi Jindabad, Rahul Gandhi Jindabad. But he doesn't accept the president post of the Congress party. And what capacity is going there and what capacity okay, is... Okay, so is, is there confusion? <laughs> yes, there always is. But again, it boils down to now brass the tacks. The brass tacks are... The confusion lies there itself. Yeah, there is a lot of confusion, but there has been confusion for the past 10 years. I mean, is, this confusion has been there since I have literally started this, uh, this career. Pankaj Bora, of course, started his career much before me. Pankaj ji, so I have to ask you the rather awkwardly difficult question. What the... What the heck is going on? I mean, I'm not understanding it. Are you understanding it? Is, is it? is it Robert Vadra? Are the Gandhis actually helping the Congress by saying, okay, you know, we're going to take a back seat and other leaders should come forth? Or are they actually still in the front seat? What is going on? First of all, I don't buy this Robert Vadra thing, which, you know, one TV channel played for two hours the other day and, you know, a section of the press has been talking about. I don't think Robert Vadra is anywhere in the contest. I mean, uh, and he's nowhere in consideration either. The main point is... So then, Pankaji, why does he think he's in consideration? Or was it just some sort of onion to, you know, keep us busy with for a day or, day or two? I don't know why he thinks that. I mean, you know, he has people who are around him who keep on, you know, perhaps uh, uh, egging him on that you should contest. Why can't you contest, etc. for their own purposes. But I don't think his name has figured anywhere in the Congress Party's list of consideration or list of probables or in any kind of meeting. So, you know, I don't think his name should be taken seriously at all. But the fact is that, you know, I mean, if the Congress is doing, is, you know, ignoring ah, Robert, uh, Rai Bareilly and Abeti for strategic reasons that they don't want to be pinned down, the, the Gandhis don't do, want to be pinned down to these two seats and want to campaign, I, I they have to explain this. But personally speaking, I, uh, how I read the situation is that it is not reflecting well on the Congress. It would have been, you know, in case they were not going to contest either of the two Gandhi siblings, they could have, you know, admitted their cousin who has been denied the Pili Beach seat and he could have been a very formidable candidate because Amethi, for instance, was the first, uh, was contested by a Gandhi for the first time. By, by Sanjay, yes. Father. 
Sanjay in 1977 no, 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 no. and again in 1980. Yeah, yes, one one at a time, sir. I'll come to you. Let him finish. Pankaj, you finish your thought. Yes. So, you, you know, but uh, it is because of the fight over legacy, it is ruled out that uh, Piroz Varun Gadi can come down and be a part of the Congress. But as I said, that there is a very serious uh, thought on Malik Arjun Kharge contesting from Rai Vareli and Priyanka and Rahul contesting from Amethi, but this the party should announce as early as possible or if they don't have to contest, somebody else has to contest, this should also be in public domain as early as possible. Time is running out, as you have rightly said, hardly a week or 10 days to go. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, I mean, surely you can't make the announcement once the first phase has already begun. You can, technically you can, but ideally that would not be a happy situation. Uh, that is also, and, and, and you know, if you, either of them is not contesting, if there's a new person, he will need time to also, you know, acclimatize himself with, you know, a Fursat Ganj or a Tiloi or a, you know, uh, Gauri Ganj or Musafir Khana and uh, all these places, in, you know, in order to contest from there. It is not that Congress cadres and Congress organization is waiting for an uh, outsider to contest. Yes. So, all that. these things have to be factored in. Okay. So, it's it's a very ironic situation. GVRG, I'm just coming to you in, in, in just, just a second. Sayyid Asadabas, then, okay, let me, let me argue from the other point of view that, look, when there is a face-off contest, when it seems like Modi versus Rahul at the national stage, Modi wins every time. So, the further we keep Rahul away is a good idea for us. Why, why, I mean, this is what the criticism has been of the Congress party, right? That you do everything Gandhi, 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 Gandhi. Why are you obsessed with Rahul Gandhi? Anybody should be able to contest and, uh, and we are. Don't be obsessed with Rahul and Priyanka. Uh, Rishabh sahab, going by that logic, I think uh, Rahul Gandhi must completely quit politics if he's given up that, you know, Modi ji, whenever head to head or any of that. If he's in politics, he has to take on Modi and the likes of Modi and the Bharatiya Janta Party power uh, heavyweights like Smriti Irani. Also, I truly believe that Priyanka Gandhi has been in the political space for quite some time and she's not contested a single election. It is high time that Priyanka Gandhi must and should contest from Rai Bareilly. And yes, there has been a certain havabazi by Mr. Robert Wadra that he will contest. Again, that uh, looks uh, not possible for now. But yes, if it is going to be Rahul Gandhi or Namethi and Priyanka Gandhi, they must and should give everything in their might. Or again, it's like hands up, giving up to the Modi power and the juggernaut of the BJP winning election. Okay, so let if me ask the other, other, other devil's advocate question. And, and let me put this to GVRG. GVRG, the other contrarian point of view can be that, look, Right now, Narendra Modi is difficult to beat. Okay? So, let us save our energy for next time or the time after that. After the point, eventually, a Narendra Modi will have to retire from politics. He can't be at it for the next 20 years. So, our time, we are in our 50s. Our time will come. Let's wait for it. Is that a reasonable argument? No, that is not a political argument. That is not at all a political argument. See, one of our, first of all, let it be very clear in the political parties, never, ever, never, ever address the individual. You are a party. You are with objectives. You have your principles in your mind and your carry. What for your existence, your party existence in this country is in the principal narration. The principles of the narration, you have to fight, keep on fight, keep on fight, keep on fight. But what is exactly? You see yesterday, yesterday that Telangana chief minister in presence of Rahul Gandhi has very categorically said there is a Modi Parivar with Gandhi Parivar. See, see the the uh, this uh, the gap, the political gap, the maturity level. What he says there, there is a Modi Parivar versus uh, uh, Gandhi Parivar. What is Modi Parivar? Modi, ED, CBI, income tax. So he, they are they reach that low level. And what is Gandhi Parivar? Say in, uh, Indira Gandhi, Rahul, Rajiv Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi. See, you see the, that is what I said, just jamgat the Congress, just think tank. And he was present there in the play, in the meeting, in the gathering, almost uh, okay. big gathering. So, okay. they, you understand, there is a political immaturity. It is, it is ruling the Congress party. Okay, I, again, I don't know, I don't know, but it is, it is obviously not a 
incidental, ignorable point of conversation that Amiti and Rai Birli don't have a face from the Congress. It's it's for Absolutely. anybody. It's inconceivable. Let me let me get uh, Ashutoshji back into this. Ashutoshji, let's flip the coin. For the BJP, in order for them to form a government of a comfortable majority, just by themselves, let alone the NDA. they have to do as well if not better in up and doing as well and not better in up is not easy if you already won 60 out of uh, 65 out of 80 life is a bit tough uh, repeating the performance is not easy uh, once you once you do really well does this make make life easier for them was the congress enough of a force that having no gandhis in up actually makes life easier for for narendra modi's bjp or does it not matter doesn't make life easier neither uh, neither for bjp nor nor for congress but i would say the one of the gandhis they should contest it, it's not uh, good to give the walk, walk over they are simply giving the walk over to the bjp by not contesting in any of the seat in raibareli or amethi which has been the bastion of this family in the past and for bjp to as uh, they are claiming that that aapki baat 400 400 par or they want they they are hoping to uh, grab uh, get all the 80 seats for 75 plus so bjp has to work very very hard uh, which modi ji has been doing bjp means modi has been campaigning rigorously without uh, i mean every day he is uh, doing so many sabhas and so many meetings he is attending but when it comes to uh, congress like uh, shastri ji was uh, saying yesterday the one of the gandhi family member was there and when he was mentioning that it is gandhi parivar and modi parivar what is modi parivar and what is gandhi parivar seeing all this scenario what the preparations have been done in the past by the congress party which is 139 years old i mean they should give a tough fight to bjp if they uh, i don't want them to give a walk over not contesting i mean they they should contest winning or losing is okay. a different thing when rahul is contesting from two places what is the harm in contesting from here as well he is contesting already uh, contesting from vinar from kerala that's for sure he's going to win and one of these seats rivalry or amethi okay. heated also all right let's see uh, let's see there is time the nomination deadline is not uh, expired so there yeah. is time it can happen last minute i'll leave the last word with rishi rishi ji then in the end why does it matter to anyone other than the congress itself whether a uh, gandhi contests or not would an akhilesh yadav for example will he be will he be happy if a malikarjun kharge is sent or some other Uh, other leader is sent to contest a raibareli no you need to understand you need to take uttar pradesh very seriously i mean the road to the prime minister office goes through uttar pradesh and i don't know what is happening with the congress in congress i mean uh, those who are not fighting election are devising a strategy for those who are actually fighting the election uh, it's almost 10 days in 10 days the campaigning for the first phase is getting going to end and yet i don't see any sp congress alliance top honchos actually start campaigning in the western uttar pradesh so the seriousness of the situation by not fighting the election they have actually given a walk over given a very big advantage to the uh, bjp and you need to also understand um, 2024 election they are making harakiri after harakiri i mean top press leadership are reluctant to fight uh, rahul gandhi to venard it's a it's so venard gandhi took refuse in the rajya sabha congress candidates returning tickets and many places they forgot to field candidates i mean how can you make this kind of blunders these are not even mistakes okay. these are the blunders and if you if you do, want to give a complete a walk over to the bjp you want to gift 80 seats to the bjp that's your choice because the fight is between rahul gandhi and it's a uh, narendra modi it's not about narendra modi okay. versus you know, there's, a, there's a very the fight has happened there's there's a seasoned congress leader who recently left the party and joined the other side it once told me that any time that the congress has slipped to number 3 in a state it has never recovered as long as it's head to head with the bjp they they've hung in there or head to head with the local party they've hung in there but as soon as they become number 3 they've never recovered to be the dominant party in that state ever again lok sabha or assembly and it's a major major conundrum and we are facing the conundrum because this is an odd conversation for me to be still having this is like a no brainer when the seat lists are announced these ones are done like you already know right narendra modi will be contesting varanasi it's a, it's a bit of a no brainer it's not a surprise this is an odd one 
And I've asked the questions of different perspectives which could be taken that this is Modi's time, let's conserve our strength for next time or let's focus our resources on the south and other areas where we are more likely to see a bang for the buck. You can argue it all sorts of ways. I don't know where this is going. Is it a walkover? I, I don't know. But it's, it's an odd way to start an election. It doesn't feel like we are 10 days away from a general election yet. Maybe. Let's see. I thank my guest. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.